What's up guys, it's Everything Apple Pro here, and I had an interesting idea. What if I were to compare the original version of the iPhone 5 iOS 6.0 to the newest 10.3.3 version in light of this iPhone being discontinued? I just wanted to see, is planned obsolescence a reality? Did it affect the iPhone 5? One of Apple's greatest phones, in my opinion. It's the last iPhone that Steve Jobs had any input on, and it's definitely apparent. On iOS 6.0, you have the skew more design where you have shadows, depths, a uh, bunch of patterns, even in iOS, something that iOS 10 doesn't. iOS 10 is very flat. So it's definitely something you can tell that Steve Jobs worked on. But aside from design, how's the performance? A lot of people still use this device day to day, believe it or not. So let's go ahead and take a look at planned obsolescence and whether or not it affected this guy with an ultimate speed test of the first versus last firmware of the iPhone 5. I'm going to miss this phone. That's for sure. It was a beautiful phone. It was one of uh, my favorites personally. So uh, yeah, let's send it off with a final speed test. All right, so I have one of the very first released iPhone 5s on its original firmware. This was the matte black color we got before the new one with the iPhone 7, and it really is a stunner. Now, the one flaw of it was that it would rub off and you get all the silver underneath, so it wasn't really good condition, but when it was new, this thing looked stunning. So turning it on, you have that old style lock screen, no press to unlock, you actually had the original slide to unlock. It was the last iPhone that Steve Jobs cooperated with and helped build right before he passed, as well as his legacy firmware, iOS 6, with that skeuomorphic design, it's totally reflected everywhere. Docks, you have shadows, you have depth, you have like classic knobs, this button over here lusters when you actually move it. It's a really, really cool touch. I mean, opening the camera, you have the classic camera blades. It's really, really reflected throughout the entire OS. All right, so on the left, I have my iOS 6.0 device, and on the right, iOS 10.3.3. Now, just to show you guys, this thing really is running the first firmware ever. There it is, iOS 6.0. And this isn't using any sort of tool, this is actually its stock version. iOS 6.0 required less storage than iOS 10 did. The features really were simpler back then. So I just want to do a little overview before we get into the speed portion. Just the look of it, the feel of it, it's really, really different. I mean, the music player itself, it didn't have the depth, <laughs> the cool uh, cover flow feature like uh, Apple removed later on. You've got, of course, a much cleaner, flatter look, and I prefer iOS 6's music player. Even from the lock screen, it's uh, kind of cool. You can bring up the player just like this. Over here, you have to swipe and get into the second page of the control center. Back then, iOS 6 didn't have a control center, nothing like that. Even the app switcher was a lot harder to navigate. You have to click on them and then exit just like that. Notification center did exist though, and uh, it's cool. As you can see, there is a lot of depth looks almost like a gene board there, very interesting. The one thing I definitely don't miss about iOS 6.0 is no swipe back. I got so used to that feature, it's like my favorite thing uh, about iOS 10 comparing these. Look at all of these wallpaper choices. Now you just have just a little bit and that's it. So I definitely prefer iOS 6's choice. I wish they kept all of these and just kept adding to them. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and clear up all of the apps and we're gonna start with a startup test. See, with all of the features that iOS 10 added, Let's see if it bogs down the system in any way, if it's realistically faster or slower than the first and original firmware. All right, here we go with iOS 6.0 on the left in three, two, one. So I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm actually saving a device from all of the newer iPhones to compare eventually when they get discontinued to the last version on those. I'm just very curious to see the evolution of devices as more features are added, software is updated, how it compares. Now look at that Apple logo. You've got that classic look there uh, before Apple updated their logos. So really, really interesting. But anyways, I can see it is almost booted. Oh, there it is and uh, ready to go, fully functional here. So this one is still booting, where uh, if you're in an emergency and your phone was dead, you would still be uh, at the mercy of the software booting. But as you can see, there it is, ready to go right after, getting some pop-ups. But overall, not too far behind, maybe 10, 15 seconds. Startup isn't bad. Let's go ahead and do some app launches here and see uh, the speed of actual interaction. One, two, three. Ooh, look at that, quite a delay over here in settings. Let's do a sub menu here in settings. One, two, three. 
Yeah, it has a hesitation. Settings a little bit quicker. Let's try the App Store. It does load the web pages just a second faster. Actually, not terrible. Uh, let's try uh, weather over here. Did give me the weather quite significantly faster. Uh, the camera application, three, two, one. Ooh, that's actually loaded a little bit faster because of the shutter lens animation over there. So let's try the app switcher, one, two. Ooh, quite a delay on iOS 10. Yeah, interesting. So although it isn't much slower, iOS 10 overall is just a little bit behind. It definitely isn't terrible for all of the new features added. The difference between the 4S on iOS 5 and iOS 9 was way more significant. And the messages app, one, two, three. Oh, so uh, iOS 6 was faster on that one as well. And the phone app, one, two, three, probably one of the most crucial points. It was ready to go right off the bat on iOS 6.0. So much faster feeling, it definitely is much more fluid, like things just open, close seemingly much faster than on iOS 6 when they're uh, not preloaded. Over here though, you can exit mid, mid opening. So that definitely helps with the fluidity. And lastly, just the music application, one, two, three ready to go on iOS 6.0 much faster. Wow. All right, let's go ahead and get some actual numbers here. I'm gonna get some geek benches going and a speed test after that. All right, and here's that result on iOS 10.3.3, iPhone 5, of course, the same processor and everything. On the left here, 6.0, we got 1640. So what does that mean? Basically, it was a different time, different test, but uh, iOS 10 did get a higher score overall. This is essentially the combined score of both of these. So uh, iOS 10 is definitely pushing its weight much better than I thought it would. Just a couple more here. And the Intuitu benchmark, again, the iPhone 5 outdoes iOS 6. So slightly higher, about 2000 points higher there. Overall, I am very, very impressed. One last test I wanted to do was to launch Instagram. This is an older version versus a new, but uh, seems as if it's still a little bit faster there. Cool, very impressed. So unlike the iPhone 4S, iOS 10 actually improved the performance of iOS 6 in some ways, but the overall UI slowed it down. So not too bad. It's a great trade-off for all of the new features. Just a curious test I've been wanting to do for a very long time, a send-off to one of Apple's greatest devices ever, the iPhone 5. I seriously loved this thing when it came out, and it's no wonder. With the skeuomorphic design, it was such a special phone. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more videos. Peace.